Hello and welcome back to Globe Sweeper Hex Puzzler. Today I'm uh, planning on doing these two levels here, Twist and Wiggly, but Twist is a pretty long level, so we'll see how long it takes to explain everything, and yeah, I'll, I'll just wing it a bit more nowadays or in these episodes. So let's get started. So Twist is a very, very lengthy area level. There's nothing going on except just area clues and normal tiles, obviously, and this one requires you to think about a lot of uh, overlapping areas, like you can see. There's a lot of areas, all of them overlap each other and stuff, so there's a lot to think about. So, to begin, we look at this four here. In this area, we need four golden tiles, four reactive tiles. And then in this area for the eight, we need eight tiles, but we can only use four of these shared tiles. So we'll have four tiles here, and then we have to mark five, six, seven, and eight. So all of these outside tiles have to be marked, and then we will need four tiles in this shared area between the eight and four, so the four can't have any tiles outside of that area. So those we can remove. Now, we look at this six here. Uh, it's kind of confusing turning on and off all these things. So this six has four tiles already. In this shared area, these six tiles, we can at most have two more tiles for this six. We don't have to have two more tiles, but at most we can have two tiles here. So what that means is that for the eight, we have four here. We can at most use two more tiles here, which means we will at least need two tiles out of these four tiles. But here we have a one and here we have a one. So we can only have one of these tiles marked and one of these tiles marked. That means that we will have to have one tile here and one tile here. So both of these ones will be completed and these tiles cannot be marked. That now gives us two twos here. This two only has one more tile, and this one is done, and we get this tile. And then just solve the tiles until you can't anymore. And then here, we have a four with two tiles. We know one of these will be marked for a third tile, and then we know one of these will be marked for the fourth tile. So this tile cannot be marked. And then here, we have a five tile, five area with four tiles, and only one more tile to mark, so that becomes the last tile. Now this three is done, and then uh, I guess we have to leave this for now. So at this point you can go left or right. Let's start by going left here. So the six has five tiles marked. We know we need one tile here for this two, completing the six, so these four tiles have to be removed. Now this two is done, and this two is done, and we get these two tiles marked, and these two tiles marked. Now here, the six has four, five, and six, so this tile can't be marked, and now we finally get this tile marked for the two. Here, we have six tiles for the eight, and only two more tiles, so both of them have to be marked. And now we start having to think about multiple areas at the same time. So here, we have six tiles for the eight. We need two more tiles out of these four tiles here. And then here, we have six tiles, and we need two more tiles out of these four tiles, completing this eight as well, so these tiles can't be marked, the ones outside of the uh, overlapped area. And then, uh, now, oh boy, now, right, now we just count on the seven. So here, the seven has two tiles, we need five more tiles, and let's just count how many we can place. We have two tiles, In for this one we can at most have one here, so that's three tiles, and then we can have a fourth tile. Actually, let's wait with that one. So three tiles here, and then for this two on the opposite side, we can have two of these marked for four and five, and then we only have two more tiles left for six and seven. So these have to be marked, completing this one now, and then giving us this tile for the one. And then down here, this two already has one tile marked, which means it will use one more of these, but it can't use more. So this two will have one here, and then this marked. Now if we go back here, these two eights are al already done, so this tile can't be marked, and we get this one marked, and then this three, like so. This four area is now done, so these tiles are removed, and we get this three and the two. Once again, as always, always focus on completing as much as you can of the tiles before you look at the areas and lines and any other mechanic in the game, really. Then here, we have a seven area with three, four, five, six, so we have to mark this one for the seventh tile. Now here, 
I said before that it was starting to get tricky, now it gets even trickier. So here we have four tiles, five and six. We need one tile marked out of these two tiles. Keep that in mind. Now here for this five, we have four tiles. Actually, no, this isn't even the tricky part yet. We'll get to that later on. But yeah, here we have four tiles. One of these will be marked, so these two tiles can't be marked. I'm, I'm thinking of a specific instance that'll happen soon. Just you wait. But yeah, here we have six tiles for the seven. We need one of these two marked, completing this one, so this tile has to be removed. Now we have to mark these two for the two, and these are done. And now we can look at this four that has three tiles. We'll need one more here for this two, so this tile has to be removed. And now this two is complete, and this two. And then here we have three tiles for this four. Once again, we need one of these two tiles, so these two can't be marked. And then now, because we only use one of these two tiles for this two, we can only use one. That means this two will need this tile as well, completing this one and giving us that tile. And then these three for that three. Here we have four tiles, we need one more here. But here we have four tiles and we need one more here. Okay, here we go. This is the thing that I was thinking of. Okay, so we need one of these two tiles. The six has four tiles. It needs one of these two and then a sixth sixth tile right here. So one of these two. So we need one here and one here. Now if we look at this five, this has three. We need one of these two tiles and then we need one of these two tiles, both completing the five total. So these tiles have to be removed. Now we get the three here and just complete the tiles as much as you can until that point. And now, once again, we know that we'll use one tile here. So three, four, and then we need one tile here, touching the one so this tile can't be marked. And then here now, we have three tiles for this four. We need one of these two marked so this tile and this tile can be removed. That now gives us this tile for the two here, and this tile for the one. And then here, we have two tiles for this three. We need one more here, so this tile is removed. That gives us a four here, completing this tile and this three. And now once again, there's a, a pretty tricky thing. So we have five tiles on this six here. We need one more tile of these two. Then for the seven here, we have five. We need one more tile of these two for the six. And then we will need one more tile here for the seven. So we'll have one tile here and one tile here. Now we count the 10. We have four tiles on the 10. We need one tile here. We can't use more, we can't use less. One here for five, one here for six, and then seven, eight, nine, and 10. So all of these outside tiles outside of the seven area have to be marked. That now gives us this seven with six tiles already marked. Once again, we know that we need one of these two and then one of these two. Because both of these are within the area of the seven, this seven will be completed with one of these two tiles. So all the other tiles can be unmarked. Which now, since we remove this tile, we know we have to mark this one for the, uh, oh god, hold on, for the six over here. Now this two is done and this two is done. Let me get these tiles once again, just focus on the tiles to begin with until that point, and now uh, this eight has three, four, five, six, seven, and we need to mark this tile, completing this three. Right here, we already have five tiles for the five, so this tile is removed. And then here, we have four tiles, we need one of these tiles. But on this six, we have two, three, four, five, we need one of these tiles, completing the three, so these three tiles are removed. And then we only have one more option for this one, and that completes this half of the puzzle. So now we go all the way back. We could have gone to the right here at the very start. It doesn't matter. Do it in whichever order you want. But now we start looking at this five here, which is already complete. So these tiles are removed. This two is now done. And this four needs these two marked. And the zero here, like so. Now here we have six tiles on this seven. We need one more tile here. Here for this seven, we have four tiles. We need one more tile here for five, which means these two tiles have to be marked. Then here for the six, we have four tiles, five tiles, and we still know we need one of these tiles for the final tile, so these four tiles can be removed. Then we get the three here and the three here. These twos are done, and this three. And now we look at the six here, which already has six tiles, so this tile is removed, 
and this one is marked. Now here we have a 5 with 3, 4, and then 5 tiles, so these 4 are removed. The 3 here, and then once again we know that this 2 will have one of these 2 tiles, so for this 2 we have to mark this tile. Uh, now we can look at the 6, yeah, we have 3, 4, we know one of these will be marked, so 5, and then we have to mark this tile for the final tile, completing this 2 and giving us that tile. Oh, Jesus, spinning, sorry. Uh, here, we have four tiles on this five. This two needs one more, so that means these two tiles cannot be marked. Now this three needs both of these. And then this seven has four, five, and once again, it needs one more here, and then one more here. So six and seven. Now we look at nine here, which has three. We know there's four and five and then 6, 7, 8, and 9. So once again, we have to mark all of these four outer tiles. Here we have a 7, very similar situation than uh, as on the left side. We have six tiles now. We know there's one of these two, and then one of these two. But because these two are both within the area of the 7, we know the seventh tile will be one of these two tiles, so the other tiles can all be removed. And now that gives us this tile for the two here, and this these two for the three here. The one is done here like so. And now here, this 7 at the corner has 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so this tile is removed and that's marked. Now here, this 8 has 2, 4, 5. Now it gets even more complicated because now we need 6, 7, 8. So 3 out of these 4 tiles right here. Keep that in mind. Now here on the 10, we have 2 tiles. We need 1 here, so 3. Three more out of these four tiles, so six, and then seven, eight, nine, and ten. So once again, we have to mark all of the outer tiles here. And now for this eight here, we have one, two, three, four, and five. And yet again, we know we know we need three out of these four tiles marked. So we have five, six, seven, eight. So this tile and these four tiles cannot be marked. Now we get a three here, completing that. We know there's one more tile in here, but we don't know where yet. These ones are done. Just solve these tiles as much as you can. And then right here, we have a five tile, five area with five tiles. So this tile has to be removed and that's marked. Now here we have a six with four tiles, two more out of these three tiles. And then on this six, we have four tiles, two more out of these three tiles. So these four tiles cannot be marked. Now here, we know this two can only use one of these two tiles, which means this two will need this tile. And here we know this one can only use one of these two tiles, which means this two has to use this tile. And then we'll have to use one of these two tiles, completing the one, so this tile cannot be marked. That gives us a three, letting us complete the one now. And then here we have three, four, five, and we need the final tile here. So there we go. Now here we already have five tiles, so this tile is removed here, completing this two. And then here, we need one more tile here. We have five, one more here. This six has one, two, three, four. We need one here for the two, and then one here for this six. So we have four, five, and six, and these two tiles cannot be marked. And then once again, we know there's one tile here and one tile here, which will complete this one, so this tile cannot be marked. Now, for this four, we have two tiles already. We know there's one here, and we know there's one here. So the four will be completed in these tiles, and these three tiles cannot be marked. That gets us two tiles here, and this tile for the one here. Could I see that before? Maybe I could. No? no I think that was, that was fine. Uh, and then here, I think we look, we have three tiles here. Yeah, three tiles here. This one can only use one of these tiles, so that'll be four. And then we only have two more options, so we need to mark five and six, completing this two and marking this tile for the one. This two is now done. And then here, the five in the corner has four tiles. We need one of these four tiles right here. And then for this seven here, we have three tiles. We can at most use one of these three tiles. We don't have to, we could have this tile, but the seven cannot have more than one of these three. So we have one, two, three, four, potentially, and then five, six, and seven. So we have to mark these tiles. We will need one of these three tiles marked, 
completing this five so this tile is removed. And then that gets a two here and a three here, completing the seven now and the five. And then here we have a six that's already completed, so these tiles are removed. And that gets us two threes here. Here we have five tiles and the six. Once again, we need one more here, so these tiles are removed. Just solve that normally. And then now this seven has three tiles. We need one more here, so four, and then five, six, and seven. So all of these have to be marked. Now I believe it gets even more complicated, a little bit more complicated. Um, I think we just look from the other side. So here on this five, we have two tiles marked. We need three out of these five tiles marked. Then on the seven we look and we have one, two, three. We know we need three of these five tiles, not more, not less, which will only give us six for the seven and this final tile has to be marked. Now if we look at the six here, keeping in mind that we will have three tiles of these five. The six here now has five tiles already marked, so it can only have one more tile. So out of these three tiles, we can at most use one. And because we need three tiles here, that means that we have to use one tile here and we have to use the two tiles that are outside of this six area for this five. So we get these two tiles for four on this five, one of these tiles completing the five and the six and the seven. So this six will be completed here and cannot use these two tiles here. And then we get these tiles and this is already done. And finally, we look at the corner seven here, which has one, two, three, four, five, six, and needs this tile, which is the last tile we needed for the six here. So there we go. Not super difficult, but you have to keep in mind a bunch of uh, areas at the same time. And I think I have time to uh, get done with Wiggly at the same time or in this episode, so let's get to that. So Wiggly combines area clues and cluster clues, and you have to keep both of them in mind at the same time. So to begin with, we can just look at this three, uh, yeah, I think that's the easiest way to do it. So this three, if it goes to the right here, how far can it go? We have one tile here, it can go here for two, but then it cannot go here because that would make a four cluster, and it also can't go here because that would connect up the two and the three. So at most, the three can go one step to the right. That means that the three will have to go one step to the left, because if we go right, then we have to mark this one because these two are removed, and if we don't go right, then we still have to go here, or it, it's not possible to complete. So we can already mark this tile. And now we can unmark this tile because that would make a four cluster here. Now we can just look at this five. You could have done this already, but I find that this is easier to approach in this way instead of thinking about the whole potential area of the three. We now know that we'll use either this tile or this tile completing the three. So we have three tiles already for this five. We need one more tile here, completing the three, and then we need one more tile out of these four tiles, completing this two. So the five will be complete in these six tiles here. So the other tiles can all be removed. That gets a zero here, which means the three has to go this way and get disconnected here. And we have a one here bordering a tile, so these are removed. We get three here and three here. And then this two cannot connect up to this tile or it would have too many for the cluster. So that's removed and this is marked. And now the two cluster is done. So this tile is removed. And then we get a two here. And on this side, we have two for the six cluster. We have to go three, four, and then we don't know. Uh, we can continue on here, but I think we should just go left to begin with. I find that easier. This three needs one more tile here. This four cluster has two. We need three, we need four, and that's now done, so these are disconnected. This three needs two, two here, which completes this three, and then this three cannot connect up here because then we connect up the five and the three, so that tile has to be removed, and this tile has to be marked for the three. And then now we have two tiles here for the five, we have to mark three, four, and five, and then disconnect it. And the one here, and now we count the 10 here, which has three, four, five, six, and then only four more tiles, so all of them have to be marked for this 10 area. Now this two is done, and this two is done, and the one here, these two tiles, this three cluster has one, we need to go here for two, 
And then we can't go here because then it would be four, so that's removed and we have to go here completing the three cluster. Meanwhile up here this three is done and the two is done here and this one and then we get a cluster here of five. We have one tile, we have to go here for two and now we cannot go to this tile because if we do we get one, two, three, four, five and six. So this tile has to be removed or the five cluster gets too many. And then we have to mark this one for the five which now completes it and we can disconnect it from here. Now we look at the seven which has five tiles marked already and only two more spots so both of them are marked. Three is now done and there's four here and we have a seven cluster with four tiles we have to go five and six and now we cannot mark this tile or we've connected up to an eight cluster so that's removed and this has to now be marked completing the seven cluster. Then here we already have seven in this entire area of the seven area, so these three tiles cannot be marked. And that's as far as you can go on the left side. I mean, it's, it's a sphere, so I guess there's no left side, but we've gone to the left. Now we go all the way back and we continue on on the right here. So if we look again at this six cluster we left earlier and we look at this seven area, this seven area has four tiles here and two tiles here. So the seven area has six tiles and only needs one more tile. But this six cluster needs two more tiles to complete itself. So if we don't use this tile, if we were to remove this tile, the six cluster would have to go here and then to one of these tiles, which is too many for the seven. So the six cluster has to finish outside of the area of the seven because we only have one more tile available. And the only way to do that is for the six to use this tile and now complete itself. And that's also the tile we needed for the seven. So all of these are removed and the six cluster has to be disconnected. We get this tile for the one here, a five cluster, so two, three, four. Can't mark this one or we make a six cluster. And then we get that, completing the three and the five cluster. And then here we have five tiles in this area of the seven and only two more tiles, so both of them are marked. Here we get a six cluster with two tiles. We need to mark three, four, five, and six, and then disconnect it. This two is now done. This two has to mark these two. And then here, this eight, plus, uh, eight area has six tiles, seven and eight, so this tile has to be removed. Giving us this for the two, and this completing the five cluster. So disconnect that. And finally, we have four tiles here, and then only four more tiles for this eight area, so all of them have to be marked. So that one isn't too bad. The other one is much harder, I would I would say. But I'll leave it off there. I think next time I'm gonna go for uh, probably flower and jigsaw or something like that. Gets a little uh, tricky to come up with where to go next, but I practiced those two, so that should be fine. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.